Over time, he lost his speech. He started to withdraw into himself. He started to um, have GI issues. Hanging his head against the wall, couldn't go to the bathroom. A third of the population is nonverbal. We lost a little boy that we knew. Have seizure disorders. We, in fact, have an epidemic. We've gone from one in 10,000 children to be autistic to one in 88. It is worse than an epidemic. It is an absolute disaster. There was very little awareness of autism. They couldn't get answers from their own doctor. If this is happening to us, this has got to be happening to many, many other families around this country and around the world. And we spent billions. There's something wrong with us. There's something wrong. Autism is a global epidemic. The costs are too high for us to ignore. We've got to spend more time looking at the genetics because there is a trigger mechanism. There's a link between neurotoxic chemicals and the environment, an increased rates of aut autism. From two all the way through their eighties. I mean, they have needs across the lifespan. We can all get immune to statistics. Behind every one of those numbers is a person living with autism. Federal agencies responsible for the health of our children have failed in their duty. At the bottom of this, you have special interest groups who would resist any deeper research on it because it's going to affect their bottom line. The doubling of prevalence, as I said, in 10 years. Many of us believe CDC has actively covered up evidence surrounding autism's environmental causes. And meanwhile, you have children all over the country turning up well with autism. In their lifetime, the care cost is $2.3 million. Out-of-pocket costs for a parent who doesn't have insurance can be $60,000 a year. $137 billion a year in annual cost. Cost this country for care of autism. They're grown men that have been crying and women crying. The needs of someone with autism evolve. We've got to develop a national strategy. This was some